Have you ever wondered if your secrets, like your API keys, your security certificates, or credential peers have ever leaked publicly? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a free and most importantly secure way to check if your secrets have ever leaked. Now, this is actually a pretty pervasive issue. At the start of 2023, GitGuardian put out a report to say that they found over 10 million secrets just in the year 2022 in public GitHub repositories. And 20% of those, or roughly 2 million, were for cloud provider keys. So this is pretty sensitive stuff. And you may think it's just junior developers that make this mistake, but actually it's affected lots of massive companies with good security because, well, secrets often just get buried in source code and then you'll get history and often just end up published publicly by accident. But there is a way to check if your secrets have leaked. Has My Secret Leaked is a free service from GitGuardian that will query six years of data from GitHub to see if any of your secrets at any time have leaked publicly. Now, I know what you must be thinking. You're thinking, Mackenzie, are you serious? You want me to share my plain tech secrets, the crown jewels of my organization with a service that I don't know and I don't trust? That seems dumb. And it would be dumb, but that's not how this works. The best part is that GitGuardian nor anyone else will ever find out what your secrets are. And this is because of how they actually check it. So first, you have to create a local hash of your secrets. If you don't know what a hash is, this is basically a fingerprint or one-way encryption where you can check to see if two values are the same, but you can never get back to the original value. What this means is that you can share this hash with GitGuardian, knowing that it won't be able to be reversed and that then they can query that hash against other hashes to see if there's a match. And all of this happens without ever actually exposing your secret. So I'm going to show you two quick ways of how to do this. The simplest way to get started is to go to the website, gigguardian.com forward slash has my secret leaked, just search for has my secret leaked. And here on the website, you can see that they give you some example secrets to start with. So you can click on any of these example secrets and it will show you how it hashes the secret in its browser and then queries its database to see if there's any matches. In this case, it's found three incidents where this secret matches repositories, and then you can click and it will show you the first time that this secret actually appeared in GitHub and take you directly to the commit that committed that secret. Now, this is all very interesting, but it's not using your own secrets. To query your own secrets, there's two ways that you can do it. One is using this web interface, and the other is using a CLI tool. The first one I'm gonna show you to check if your secrets have leaked are through this website. You can click over here into advanced, and here there's an input for your own secrets. But the challenge is you have to hash these yourselves locally. They do provide a script to do this, so I'm just going to copy this script, go over to my IDE, and create a file called hash.py. I'm then going to paste this in here. And if I run this, then it's going to ask me for my secret. I have a file here called secrets.txt. I'm going to copy one of these secrets in and it's going to give me a hash. I can then copy that entire hash, go back and paste it in this box here and then it's going to scan. And this is now querying its database of over 20 million secrets to see if this secret matches a hash that they've found. And they have found it. And not only have they actually told me that they've found something, they've given me a link for it. So again, I can go over to GitHub and I can see exactly where this secret has been leaked in what commit. Now I wanted to show you that because I wanted to really show you how it worked, but there is a better way because to be honest, well, that doesn't scale and you've probably got thousands of secrets that you want to query or you want to integrate this into different systems. So there's a much better approach to do it. So now I'm gonna show you how to integrate this into a CLI tool using a tool called GG Shield. We're back in the IDE now and I have my terminal open. And as I said before, I have a file here called secrets.txt and this has an AWS key, a Mailgun key and another AWS key. And these are the secrets that I want to query. So using a tool called GG Shield, this is an open source tool and I'll provide a link to that in the description of this, but we can just use the command GG Shield has my secret leech or HMSL check and then we just need to add in the file that we want to check which in my case is secrets.txt and this here is 
creating a hash of those secrets. It's querying it. And as you can see, it's very quick. And it's come back to say that three of the secrets in here, which is all three, have actually leaked. So it's told me the secret name. It's given me the secret hash. And it's also taken me to the URL where this commit is fine. So I can copy this and head over to see where the secret has leaked. Now, this is obviously much better if you want to integrate this into different systems. For example, you may want to integrate this into your secrets manager so that it hashes and checks to see if any of your secrets in your secrets manager have leaked or any larger data sets and databases. This is a much more optimal way of doing it. Now, I know some of you out there in security have some trust issues. So, one of the great things about this tool is that we can actually break down all the steps that this tool took to get to where we got to. So what I want to do now is actually just show you the three steps that this tool did automatically behind the scenes, but I want to show you them up front so that you can actually know what's happening. So the first step we're going to look at is the hashing step, the fingerprinting step. So again, we can use the tool GG Shield, and again, has my secret leaked. And instead of doing check, we're going to write in fingerprint. And then we're going to put in a file, secrets.txt. And what it then does is it creates another file here called payload and mapping.txt. Payload, this is the hash or the first part of the hash of all your secrets. And the mapping is just the full hashes that they have. Now, what's really cool about this is this, this file here is what gets sent to the service. Only the first part of the hash actually gets sent to Git Guardian. So now we can actually send that using the command query. So GG Shield has my secret leaked query. And then our payload.txt. All right. And now it it actually gives us our results here, but what you'll notice is our results are encrypted. So we're going to do this again, but we're going to put our results in a file called results.dump. So now we have our results.dump. And finally, we're going to decrypt our result.dump file using the command decrypt uh, with ggshield. So again, ggshield has my secret leaked, decrypt result.dump and then we get the response so we can skip all of this and do it automatically but just so that you can actually see how it works because we're dealing with secrets we're dealing with something sensitive these are the three steps that the, that the tool does behind the scenes so you can be pretty secure that it's using a very secure method of doing it and you can actually see every step along the way and if you have super trust issues you can do these steps <laughs> one by one yourself if you want to. So there we have it. That's how to simply check to see if your secrets have ever leaked publicly in any public repositories. If you liked this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we share lots of great security content on a weekly basis. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Remember, good code is secure code.